fence against despair when you pray, because more often than not, the prayer, thy will be done, is one of the most difficult that the Christian has to pray, because when we pray for them to get better, when we pray for healing, when we pray for rescue, when we pray for help, we don't mean thy will be done. We mean help. I, I need this and I know that I need this. So if you're not on my team for this, I'm, I'm willing to look for someone else who is. And that is not a, a pride speaking, but a confession. Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner who wants what I want so badly that I'm willing to take it from just about anywhere. So we are taught to pray as a, a defense against despair and desperation for that one thing that you want. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And then you get to recognize that God's will is good. God's will is salvation. And well, God's will is done. It is done in heaven and it will be done on earth. We actually can't stop it. Who do you actually think is stronger, you or God? Do you really think that you could stop God's will by your actions? He will only twist them and use them for good, even if you try to use them for evil. God can actually bring good out of evil. And so when you look around and all you see is evil and you pray for it to stop, you get to say, maybe this isn't good, but a good God will still use it for that. He will still use it for good. He will still use this to help and to comfort and to save because the good and gracious will of God is done even without our prayer. But we pray in this petition that it would be done among us also as a comfort, a recognition that God has not abandoned us or forgotten us, but God's will is done whenever he breaks and hinders every evil plan and purpose of the devil, the world, and our own sinful nature, which do not want us to hallow God's word or let his kingdom come. And when he strengthens and keeps us firm in his word and faith until we die, this is his good and gracious will that because of sin, sooner or later, death will come for all of us unless Christ returns first. And so he first intends to save you from death by keeping you in faith so that you would be brought through death and back out unto life. That way, when you pray and utter desperation and you recognize that, no, my, my way is pretty much the only way that's going to work out here, we can pray, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, recognizing not just that I might not get my way, but that there is a God who is smarter than me but loves me and has promised to work for good, even where I just want things that are for me. It is a comfort to recognize that God's will is going to be done no matter what, but more than that, God's will is good. God's will is salvation. God's will was to send his son to bleed and die and rise again to save you from your sins, to win you back from the devil, to win you back from your own sinful flesh that wants what it wants, and even to win you back from a world that would mark the wins and losses as something other than a cross and an empty tomb that actually can rescue and save. So when we pray and that desperation and that, that despair start to well up, we can remember who our God is and that he's going to work for good here so we can pray with, with comfort and confidence and joy.